Hey guys, it's Lisa and today I'm here to bring you a really cool wine subscription service called Weekly Tasting. Uh, I will put all of their information in the description box down below. This, this company is really cool because you're not obligated to buy every month. What happens is, is they will send you an email, they'll let you know what wines are available um, for purchase that time if you want to buy into it. It's $69.99 per tasting, which is four bottles of wine, that's free shipping. Um, and if you decide that you don't want them, you could just opt out for that time. The website is really cool because they have classes that you could buy. You, you could learn intro to wine tasting, you could learn intro to grapes, you can gift the classes to people, which I think is really fun. It's a fun gift. Um, you can gift the wine to people. They have a really nice blog. They have wine experts. They teach you about the wines that are you're getting in your boxes, along with the cards that you get that you could pair them with takeout food, you could pair them with food that you make for dinner. Um, so it's really, really a cool service to learn about wines and how to pair them with certain things. So how it comes is in this box, in this giant box. And everything is packaged very nicely, very nicely in crates. So it says, hello, sip on the lighter side of red wine, easy drinking reds. It tells you all about the red wine. And then there are cards. There's fun facts about each wine inside. There is, um, it tells you what country it's from, the alcohol content. So we're gonna go through these bottles of wine really quick. And I, again, I will put all the information for Weekly Tasting down below. You can check out Weekly Tasting at weeklytasting.com. So let's start with the first side here. So fancy. Okay, so the first one I am seeing is this one. It is Sacred Hill Marlboro. Pinot Noir, which is a which is a 2014 Pinot Noir. And this says, this is from New Zealand. It says, New Zealand is best known for its stunning Sauvignon Blanc, but Pinot Noir is the second most prestigious grape here with good reason. The cooler weather, but abundant sunshine in the rolling hills of the region make fruity, earthy Pinot Noir that's tasty on its own or with food. It's New Zealand's hidden gem. So that's really cool. So you would pair this with pork with fruit sauces or glazes, seared tuna, beet or mushroom based dishes. So that is really cool because I would never have known that. And then it just gives you some fun facts about the wine. So this is the first wine. And I will tell you right now, if you guys want to hear my opinion on the wine, so you need to follow me on things this week on Instagram because I will probably post it on my Instagram stories while I'm trying these. So that is the first one, Pinot Noir. The next one is Anno, Anno Verde Santa Barbara County Pinot Noir 2015. This is from the United States, Santa Barbara County. Santa Barbara is my favorite place in California for Pinot Noir. While the area is pretty far south, this is one of the coolest regions for growing grapes in California due to the air currents that blow from the Pacific Ocean. The wines are light but have a complexity that few other Pinot regions in California can match. So that is pretty cool. And you would pair this with salmon, ham, or grilled asparagus. Very, very neat. And they are all twist offs too, which makes it super easy. Second one. Okay. The next one I'm grabbing is this, which is Domaine de la Haute, Haute Olive. Oh man, I'm butchering this. Vieles Vignes Chignon 2016. All right, so I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but um, it is a Cabernet variety. Chignon, Chignon, I think is an area in the middle of the Lower Valley in central France. It is a wine made mainly of the Cabernet Franc grape, but can have up to 10% Cabernet Sauvignon in the blend. Chignon is known to be a refreshing, light to medium bodied wine with a food friendly blend of red fruit. A favorite in the Bistro of Paris, Chignon comes in two styles, one bolder and fuller, and one like this style that is ready to drink when the cork comes out. So. That is pretty cool. And it says you would pair this with grilled steak with shallots, grilled salmon or chicken, uh, wild mushroom risotto and vegetable tort with grilled eggplant. So this is awesome. We are actually doing a Hello Fresh this week with steak and shallots. So I will open this that night so you guys can see that if you definitely, if you follow me on um, Instagram, you can see that. And the last one is Pascal Afranc. Vignes Day 1939, Chenes en Remont, I think, 2016. Let's see, hopefully I didn't butcher that. Uh, this is from France. It says, from Gamay Vines, over 70 years old, this easy drinking Cru Beaujolais, I think, 
one of 10 sub areas of Beaujolais with distinct soil and better quality is one of the tastiest versions of this grape I've ever had for this price point. I don't want to tip the scales, but this is my favorite wine in the pack among some of other very competitive offerings. In the world of crude Beaujolais, Chenas, Chena, Chena, is the rarest of all the wines with just 585 acres planted. It's full flavored and known for its floral aroma and silky texture. And it says you would pair this with aged hard cheeses, grilled or roasted chicken with tarragon, steak, tartare, porcini, mushroom, pasta. So that is pretty cool. So that is another one. And these last two um, have corks. So nice variety of reds here. I am actually in love with reds this season. It's like, I don't know, it's just I keep going towards reds. So I'm really excited to try these. So if you guys have any questions about weekly tasting, you can, again, check out weeklytasting.com down below. That is all. There's a lot of really cool stuff on their website, including the classes and the gift packages and the blog. So definitely go check out the website if you're into wine. It's a great gift for people too, if you know somebody who's really into wine, if you're, if you're looking for a great idea great ideas because they have wine experts that pick out these wines and uh, that's what I need because I'm not a wine expert so I need somebody to point me in the right direction of a really good wine so that is fantastic so um, that is all I have for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I um, I was really excited to talk about this company just because it's something different that I've never done before so that is all and I will see you guys all in my next video thanks a lot